Hello, welcome to Computer Cut Pro, the largest, most comprehensive upgrade in the 20 year history of Computer Cut. You will be pleased that we have kept the ease of use and simplicity of the old program while adding many new and exciting features and functions, improved old ones, and have now given you the complete ability to do your own graphics and signs. In this tutorial, we are going to introduce you to the main page application. For those of you who are experienced with Computer Cut, you will find the main page has changed very little. This is the first page you see when you open the program, and the main part is what we call the banner, this right here. The banner is a way we can communicate news and information to you with links you can go to for more information. In this case, the Computer Cut Pro banner. We can provide you with links in the banner which can send you to the web for additional information. We can also communicate with our dealers through our instant message system where you will see a pop-up message when you open the Computer Cut Pro program. We have the ability to send these out to all dealers or to each individual dealer. Over on the left here is the database selection with a drop-down list of the particular database that you have access to. Underneath the database drop-down list, we have buttons that take you to different areas. The Cut button takes you into the Cut window of Computer Cut. My Home will take you to the Members page on the Computer Cut website. Announcements takes you to the page where we list all of the past announcements. Tips and help will take you to the support page. Catalog will list all of the different vehicles that we have in Computer Cut. Search is where you can search out individual cars within the databases. And invoice is where you can create your own invoice for your business. We will delve further into these later. Let's start at the top up here under File. Under File, you can reconnect the program to the Internet. Select Cut Window, which will take you directly to the Cut Window. And in Computer Cut Pro, an immensely improved import function where you have the ability to import multiple types of file formats. Whereas before you only had two file formats you could import, in Computer Cut Pro you can import virtually any file format there is. And you have the exit button where you can exit out the program. Here you have the edit which is a shortcut to be able to select all the patterns within a program. Under Options, this is where it differs from the old computer cut. Under Options, the only selection you have is an account. This is where your user ID and password are stored, the language you select, or the units you wish to work from. And what is new with Computer Cut Pro is you have the ability to personally reset your password. Next is the recents, where this lists the recent vehicles that you might have pulled up, and your favorites, which in this case we don't have any, but it's basically like a bookmark, where if you have certain vehicles that you do over and over again, you can save them so that you don't have to go through the selection process. And the help menu has changed. You can click on the support, link and that will take you to the support section of the Computer Cut website. Our remote support which is now just one click away and this allows us to get on your computer to assist you should you need any help. Our contact information if you need to contact us and to submit a graphic. While the new upgrade gives you the ability to do all of the graphics and design work you want to do yourself, if you do need the assistance of our professional graphic artist, 
you can click on Submit Graphic. And then About, about the Computer Cut program. So let's move on to the drop-down list for the different databases. You just click on the drop-down list and the databases that you are assigned to will pop up in here. In this case, we are assigned all of these different databases. So we'll start with the auto window tinting, which is the most popular one. And when you select the database, what pops up over here on the left is the new and updated. These are the vehicles that have just been updated into the database. So you select the database and then the year. In this case, we will select 2021. And let's just go to a Ford Mustang, common car that people cut all the time. Go to the model, and if there's a submodel, you would select that. But in this case, we have no submodel. And it brings you up in the display window. Up at the top here, it shows the years that that particular model applies to. And as you can see, we have different templates in here for windshield, sunstrip. The red indicates the driver's side. The black is the passenger side. The first thing you should do anytime you pull up a vehicle before you go to cut it is to check down here in the notes and installation tips. This is extremely important because it is here where we post installation tips, updates, links to different websites, videos, but most important, installation warnings about the vehicle you are working on, which can save you time, mistakes, and most important, money, avoiding potential damage. So, first thing you should do is check the notes and installation tips. Then another thing is over here, we have a picture of the vehicle that you're working on. You can take a look at that to make sure that you have the right vehicle. You can also click and blow this up for a better look at it. This is extremely important when you are using our Clear Shield paint protection database so you know exactly what car you are working on. So to select the windows for tinning, you only want to select a section at a time. You don't want to cut a whole car at one time because it's just too much material to handle. Also, since the most popular size for cutting window film for cars is 40 inch, all of the windows are prearranged to cut on a 40 inch roll of material. So to cut these two front windows here, all you do is just select the driver and passenger window. And if you want, you can select the quarter windows here. We have these in duplicate just to save you time rather than having to move them around depending upon the different shades that you're going to use. So if you're going to cut all the same shade, you can select these here and hit the cut button and it takes it into the cut window right here and then from here all you have to do is hit cut and the windows are cut. We will get into the cut window in future video. Down on the bottom of the main page applications we have a few links down here. The first one is where you can send a comment on a a pattern. We try to maintain the best quality patterns out there, but in order to do that, we also need help from our dealers to send us comments should a pattern not fit properly. So to do that, you click on the send comment on this pattern and it'll take you to our web page where you can send a comment and then also if you have a picture of the problem, you can choose it and send it along with it, which will help us to determine what we need to do. The next link is add a note to this pattern. This is where you can click and add a note, a personal note, so that every time you pull up this vehicle, this can be little installation tips that you have about shrinking a side window or 
things to avoid, whatever you want to put in here as a note, and it will appear the next time you open up this vehicle. The next one is to submit an installation tip. We welcome any tip that you might have on doing this particular vehicle. And if we think it's something that we can use, we will put it into the notes and installation tips here. So if you have something you think might be helpful, go ahead and click on this link and submit it. The next link is to create my version of this patterns. We give you the complete ability to edit the patterns to fit exactly the way in which you would like it to fit. And then you can save it as your version of the pattern. So this is where you can save your version of the pattern and you can also do it in the cut window. Next is the add to favorites. Again, that goes back up to here where you can store up to 20 different vehicles that you might be doing. So just to give an example, we'll add this to the favorites and then go up here and there you have it there. And finally, we'll go over these buttons over on the left over here. The cut button takes you directly to the cut window. My home will take you to the members page of the computer cut website. Announcements will take you to the members page where it will list the, num the different announcements that have been made. Tips and help will take you to the member site where of, of the support page of the member site. Catalog takes you to the member site where it lists all the vehicles that are in the database in which you're working on and you can search out the, the particular vehicle and view that vehicle. Next we have the search button which, which brings up the search page. If you're looking for a particular vehicle you can search it out in this section right here. Let's say you can't find it by going through the drop down list. You can select the database that you're working on. In this case, we'll look for a Camaro. And you click the search button. The quality of the images are not that good. We are working on that, so we hope to improve that. But let's say we're going for the Chevy Camaro. It's 2016 to 21 and you find it, you just click on it and it will pull it up into the Computer Cut Pro program. There we have the Camaro that we were looking for. And then finally we have the invoice feature. Let's say you do a car and you would like to invoice it to the customer. So you can click on Add and you have a generic invoice here where you can fill out the description of the car and the type of role that you use. So that covers the main application window. If you have any questions, please call our technical support line 800-348-3193.